This is on listening to others or on listening to others' assumptions. Uh, you kind of need to pay attention to what you're hearing because uh, often there are so many projections of a per other person's psyche because of, because of their assumptions that they have. And here's some interesting things. Um, this is all within the last six months. Now I'm 71. I turned 71 September uh, 2019. Eight, sorry, 2018. And uh, here's what a therapist said to me. I said I was trying to create a new uh, source of income and etc. And he said, "Well, you're kind of old, you know, to be doing that now. Starting that." And then another doctor is a psychiatrist, and uh, he mentioned how my father was uh, was uh, had his picture on the the wall, in the administration building, and how he was such a contribution to that hospital because my dad was a surgeon. And I said, "Well, I hope to make a uh, a, a contribution that was even more significant." Uh, and the doctor looked at me, said, "Well, you know." Um, you know, chances are, you know, this isn't, doesn't sound very realistic. And, uh, then I had a doctor, my physician, GP, uh, who's no longer my GP, of course. And I said, oh, I'd had a cough, I'd gotten in the hospital. He said, well, you know, uh, you know, you get that age, old people, they get coughs. That's just, that's the way life is. And I said, well, my weight, you know, on my stomach, you know, I was wearing suspenders and I was, really didn't like it and he said well you know you're not high school anymore this happens you know with age and then where I lived the uh, I was palling around with a maintenance man and uh, we got to talking you know, we were just jawing around and chatting and I was telling about the women I was I was uh, talking with and stuff I was online dating and and so uh, he reported this to the executive director if you imagine this there are only 12 units here. And uh, they both come in and say, well, we're concerned. We've heard these things about you, you know. And, you know, we haven't heard these things before. And are you okay? And what's going on? And, you know, and, of course, the maintenance guy and me had never palled around before. I've been here eight years, and we just didn't have it. So we just, we were just a couple of guys, I thought. We just, but this got reported, you know. And, well, why shouldn't I be dating? I mean, for crying out loud, I'm a red-blooded man. I'm single. Why in the world? They're married. I mean, the maintenance man is married. He's got a 21 year old. The executive director is married. Living with a husband still. You know, and uh, how unusual is that? And, uh, and, uh, oh, why not me? I mean, really. And then I have a woman that comes in here, it's a homemaker, and she uh, cleans the apartment. And I was showing her some music code or a couple of videos that I'd seen. Yeah, can you imagine a seventy-year-old man YouTubing videos? Right? See, look at me. See people's assumptions, you know. And she said, oh, "This is old music." And so I said, well, "Look, hey, you just seen a little bit here, you know. I just I I look at the best music from, you know, what I showed her was like Ray Charles and uh, Dave Brubeck and uh, Fats Domino, you know, and old music." She says, "I said, well, how about?" the best of the best. Okay, look, here's so many, I got two over 250 videos here, music, and uh, here is uh, the best of the best. Here's Ravi Shankar and his daughter Anushka. Here's Karma Manaka, Manaka singing O Mio Bambino Carl with, with Andre Ryu in Dublin. Here is uh, uh, Montoya with Malaganya. Uh, and uh, here's some Jewish musics, and uh, and here's some Irish musics and dance, and they're in Gaelic, and here's Celtic women, and here is uh, uh, here is Bach with Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Here is Beethoven's Fifth, of course, and uh, and Time to Say Good Goodbye with Bocelli, and I can't remember his. The woman he sang with, I mean, just, uh, I mean, you know, it, I mean, 
being old's got nothing to do with it, you know. Uh, and of course, in Japanese, you can't leave out the koto music, uh, etc. So, and then there's a there's, there was online there's some online dating uh, sites, and so I'm on with, the, with some of those, and uh, and one of the, one of the women says, "Well, you're so old." <laughs> Going, oh boy, this is. This is this is not going well. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know what happened to her. But and then another one, another guy. I was uh, we were we were kind of talking around and we were showing each other videos. And uh, so I showed him this video that I really like with Ray Charles singing "What I Say," and it's the movie scene, and it's on YouTube, and it's called Ray Charles "What I Say" the movie scene, and. Uh, it shows in that the clip is of Ray Charles of this the actor doing Ray Charles what I say at a nightclub and there are three backup singers there and the center one if you see this video is just as cute as a button I mean talk about being cute and she's so pleasant she's so uh, smiley happy she's really into it you know it just what a wonderful gal, you know, and it's, I mean, honestly, if I'd been in the same room with her, I'd been up talking with her right away. I mean, you know, let's have dinner, let's get, to, how about a walk? I mean, you know, what are you doing later on? I mean, that kind of thing. And so this guy says, this guy, so I, so I showed him this video, I said, look at her, man, isn't she so cute? And he goes, he goes, I'm not into black women. I go, boy, that really, that really took me. I said, what does black woman have to do with anything? You know, uh, you know. Uh, uh, now he was from the projects, and uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what nationality he was, but uh, I mean, uh, I mean, that's it's just an insidious form of racism. I know he felt he was comfortable around people of different colors, but, but uh, you know, this is a, this is he was, he was that's out and outright racism. You know, this woman was freaking beautiful. Uh, I don't know, beautiful is a certain another type of woman, but uh, cute, attractive, uh, down home. Uh, you know, uh, been around. You know, competent. Uh, all kinds of. She was really, really, really a fantastic looking woman. I mean, just not just physically, but just coming through her face and you know her emotions and all intelligence and everything it's just clearly you should be chatting her up you know uh, before you took off your coat because somebody else might get to her first I mean that's a you know that's a you know, look at the video I mean really so I think that uh, what I'm trying to say is that if you listen to other people's assumptions about you you see if you listen and you don't censor and hold, keep your own counsel about yourself, um, you know, I mean, here all these people that I've mentioned, I'm standing right in front of them. And yet they're drawing conclusions from their assumptions and they're not, just not, their assumptions are blinding them to who I am. And I'm standing right there talking with them and they don't have a clue you see, you see, you can't listen to other people's opinion of you. It's just not, you know, you, you're going to set the bar too low or just inappropriately. And it's just, a, um, you know, because these people are blinded. They, they, they simply can't see you. And, uh, and uh, one of them said, well, you know, we just, you know, we're concerned about you. We care about you. And I said, well maybe so but I think I'd be better off if you didn't <laughs> I don't mean to be rude but but uh, just uh, I'm just saying you know uh, uh, th this is all these people within the last six months so this isn't spread over ten years this is in the last six months that all of these people have said these things to me uh, you know it, so many assumptions, so wrong in so many ways. Uh, you know, I, uh, I sat down with myself the other night and I said, you know, these people are, 
I can't listen to these people. They're just setting the bar too low for me, you know. But I'm going to have to set the bar for myself now, you know, because and just just how high? Excuse me. Are you interested in this dip? No. No. No, thanks. So just how the heck high can I reach, you know? If my father was, uh, he was trained at Harvard, Harvard Med School, excellent surgeon, and uh, he was at the forefront of, of innovating kidney transplants. He's one of the first or second to ever do it in the world. You know, if he can do that, you know, he and I were off, we were, were friendly competitive, and uh, he had to get used to losing. <laughs> That's just a matter of fact. Uh, and, uh, you know, so I'm thinking, you know, my, if my dad, you know, setting the bar up there, why not me a little bit higher? I mean, why the heck not? You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I've done, you know, just set the bar for my own self. If nobody's paying attention to my abilities, well, the heck with you, you know. I'll just do my own thing and be proud of myself in the end that I've uh, accomplished something and I'll, and I'll stand on dad's grave and say, there you go, Dad. Now it's your turn. I've shown you what I can do. Okay. <laughs>